Something we get asked all the time, Gerard. Cheap alarm versus expensive alarm. Yeah. What is the difference? And and quite honestly, do we need to pay it? Well, Brad, I've been thinking about this question, mate, and I've got to be very careful how I answer it. So, this is my thoughts on it. Other people might have different thoughts, but this is my thought. Different fishing situations, the more expensive alarm will cater for them needs more than the cheaper alarm, which I'm going to explain. So, the little S5 retails at 16.99. Would I use that? 100% I'd use it. It does basically what you need to do. You can turn it on. Is that off? That's off. <laughs> you can turn it on, yeah. Uh, you can turn it on, obviously cast your rods out, put it on the roller wheel, and when you get a bite or a drop back with a bobbin on it, obviously it's going gonna, it's gonna to let you know. Is it different sounds for drop back and... Not on the S5. Uh, not on the S5. There's only the same, same tone, so obviously... That's the run. Yeah. That's the drop back. Right. So there's no difference. So there's no there's no difference. Right. But like I said, when you've got the weight of the bobbin on the cheaper alarm, it's going to let you know that you've got a drop back. You, you obviously your bobbin's going to drop. Yeah. So obviously you would know it's a drop back, but it hasn't got a specific tone, a different tone to let you know there is a drop back. Right. Compared to other alarms, which is more advanced, but they are more money. Right. So, anybody starting off carp fishing, pleasure anglers, anything, the S5 will be absolutely fantastic because it's going to do what it says on the box. It's going to let you know when you have a fish. Right. Yeah, so that's the S5. Now, the more advanced angler, shall we say, who is going to be fishing different waters... So this alarm will probably be like little day ticket waters, etc. The the R four is for the angler, shall we say, who is fishing up to snags, or fishes through winter, and you need that sensitivity where it's going to acknowledge a single movement because it's the speed sensing technology which is in the R fours. And also, it's got the different drop back. It, it tells you if it's a drop back, it's got a different tone. But on the R4, the technology is like far superior than probably any alarm on market, which I'll talk about. Changing the uh, colours of the LED, do you really need that? Um, possibly. Because if you're fishing up to snags or anything like that, you can have it on red, the alarm, so you know which rod is obviously in dark if it's if it's a red led you know it's that rod that's actually fishing tight to them snags and you need to be straight so, if, you, out so if you've got three rods you know which is which you know which is which yeah, yeah. so yeah. that is a bonus when you can do that um obviously on this one it's just basic it's just a roller wheel turn it on off and you've got your volume on your s5 with the r4 i mean you can change the led colors you can have it from a bright led to a uh, a duller LED, you can take the LED colour off, you can just have the LED colour on the receiver, you can have no LED colour at all, so that's probably a good idea if anybody is, shall we say, guesting when you shouldn't be there, which I know a few people do, so you go in stealth mode and you can just have it on your receiver on vibrate so nobody knows that you're there. But there's a big price difference from, like we said, 16 99 to 230 pound a head but well 229 Nana. but you are paying for the technology in it now obviously on this one the r4 you have sensitivity you have tones you have volumes but also on the sensitivity this is what the technology is in it it's the speed sensing technology so what, so what does that mean exactly, the speed? well what it is, it's, so, so there's five sensitivities yeah so Number one sensitivity is where if your line moves either way, uh, a take or a drop back, it's like 
a millimetre. So it's basically, uh, that's the button it's had to work uh, back to front pradders. So that's that one. And then press that one. So you can hear different sensitivities. Right, that's on the maximum sensitivity. So as you can see here, that line has got to move a millimetre. Drop back. And it's got a different tone, hasn't it? And it's got a different tone, yeah. yeah. So you actually know if you, you are fishing up to snags and you get a drop back, you've got to be on your rods or any any dangered aspect of, of fishing. And then as you can see there, there's very little movement for acknowledgement. Now, so on sensitivity, one, two and three, it just gives you that little bit of movement. But Which, then, for when it's windy? For when it's windy, yeah. Yeah. But then, if you're fishing rivers, or in Europe, or um, weedy lakes, where there's a lot of uh, drift weed coming past you, if you put it on number four, or number five, then this is allowing you, let's do it, let's show you. So that's two. That's three. That's four. Did you see? Did you hear the difference in the tone? Yeah. Now this here now, this is allowing you, as you can see that line, that you've got about fifteen centimeters till it actually is going to acknowledge. But when you get a take, like that's why they call it speed sensing. When you get a take, it it actually kicks the alarm into play. Wow. So if you're fishing on uh, boats or anything like that, like they're doing Europe or continent, or if you're fishing on rivers and these, that bit of movement, you, you haven't got to turn your alarms off or anything like that because when you put it on setting four or five, it's actually allowing, it's actually allowing that movement. Brilliant. So that that is what you're paying for. Also, um, you've got, there's, there's a lot of features on it. I mean, you've got your, on your receiver, you've got anti-theft. Um, you can have it have a, uh, on the back of it here, there's actually um, a nightlight warning. So if you are going out in a boat, you can have that flashing. So it takes you straight back uh, to, the, to your destination. You, you know exactly where you're going in a straight line. So you're not going to be going all across your rods. So the features that it has, they are for, like I said to you, is superior. To, to 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 anything really what's out there on the market and also another factor is with the r4s as well obviously on your little plug your jack plug you can have standard bobbins if you want which is just normal anglers you get a little attachment that you can actually just it's on a tool um little tool pin where you can just pop it in and twist it uh, you can put standard hangers on not a problem whatsoever but also, you've got the night, uh, night glow bobbins, which works on the R4s and the R3s. Uh, and how does that work, sorry? Basically, the little, there's two sizes. Yeah. There's the smaller ones and the large ones. So obviously that's just your two little pins, if you can see them there. Just get that. It's hard when you work. Oh yeah, it's there. Let's have a look, brothers. It's difficult when you're back to front. Yeah, it is. Do you need glasses on? <laughs> I actually do need my glasses on, mate, yeah. So basically you put it in bottom. Yeah, you pop it you, you just pop it in on that two little prong. Yeah. And just twist it round and yeah. then basically it lights up. Yeah, and can you do that on the, the cheaper one? No, no, the right. night glow bobbins, it's just a standard hockey stick, yeah. or you can actually screw the bobbin like into the uh, into the alarm so that it just takes away the hockey stick so it's not coming down. You get a little uh, attachment as well. In, and, in and, the, and the R4s, they're, they're obviously a taller alarm, and they've got like little hockey sticks. Can you can you keep, can you take them off? Yeah, snag ears. You've got all removable snag ears. So if yeah. you want to take them off, or if you're fishing up, to, um, like up to snags, you can just leave one on, which a lot of people do. You've got your anti-rod slip, which rubberized on top. So obviously, if you get in a tech, your rod's not going to fly in water. 
So there's just a lot of features that's on um, on the R4, but it is mainly that speed, that speed sensing technology, which commands the price it does um, with that movement in the in the alarm. So that is the difference between a twenty pound alarm and a two hundred pound alarm. Yeah, you're basically paying for the technology in inside what's inside the alarm, one hundred percent. 